Guys, time travel is real. Now, I know what you're thinking. Michael, how do you know this? Well, Richard Linklater went to the 80s and filmed Everybody Wants Some and released it now. And, yeah, pretty much sums up everything. <laughs> Richard Linklater's Everybody Wants Some is known as the spiritual successor to the 1993 classic Days Think of Views in which that one took place in the 70s, this takes place in the 80s. Here we follow incoming freshman in college Jake and the film chronicles the three days before his first day of class with all the antics that him and his baseball team get into. Now going into this, of course I was really excited because Richard Linklater is one of, if not the best director working today. And I gotta say that this is currently tied for the best film of the year with 10 Cloverfield Lane. From the opening shot of Jake driving to college to that last shot everybody wants up is just a blast at the movies. Now first let's talk about the acting here. Most of the actors in here are unknowns. The only one I really know is Zoe Dutch and for me personally the rest of them are all unknowns. In saying that they all do a fantastic job here. Blake Jenner plays Jake as the lead protagonist and he does astounding here. He brings just the right amount of charm and charisma to the film and he's extremely likable as the lead. The rest of the supporting cast here also does magnificent. They each have their own like sort of uniqueness to their persona which makes the movie a lot more investing and interesting because you get to follow all these different types of characters. Amongst the cast, including Justin Street, Tyler Holchin, and Wyatt Russell, these will be like the future actors of Hollywood, as Days and Confused had like the future actors like Matthew McConaughey and Mila Jovovich, Ben Affleck, and all those famous actors now. I feel like that's what these actors are going to be in the future. As I said in the intro, Linklater's direction here is excellent. He really makes you feel like you're in the 80s through the clothes people are wearing, the set pieces, and the overall atmosphere of the entire movie. Linklater also wrote this movie and deserves an A as he does with every other category that he did for this movie. You're never bored in the movie, like I said, because of the interesting characters and the situations they get into are hilarious, and he's just amazing and right movie. He made a two hour and 46 movie about a kid growing up be amazing and he can really do no wrong if he's writing a script and this is just one more thing to add to his resume to be like hey yeah I'm amazing at writing screenplays. So overall I really didn't have any problems with this movie because I absolutely loved every second of it and I enjoyed myself throughout the entire movie. With all that said I'm gonna give everybody wants some an A+. So I implore you guys to go out and see this in the theater because it will definitely, most certainly be a classic in the very near future. And I want you to be a part of seeing this greatness in the theater because it's freaking awesome. Thank you all so much for watching and until my next review, I'm Mr. 401 I will see you all later.